Hey guys, welcome to a different sort of game. This may look a little weird, but no. As you can see, it's called Dragon Warrior Alchemy, a mashup of NES titles 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's exactly as it says. You're going to see, it's going to have to start with the format of Dragon Warrior 4. And then we're going to go through each chapter, but there will be little differences here and there. I only know a little bit. I've, I saw someone streaming this, and I asked for if I could try playing this, and well, I got my answer. So this is going to be a mostly blind playthrough. I will be trying to cut things up here and there for when I have to grind or whatever, but for the most part, I'll be showing you everything. Uh, there may be some pauses here and there in between, because I'll be doing this as a pickup type of game. Just letting you know that. For now, why don't we get started? I'm going to go ahead and press start. There it is! Alright, so let's begin our new quest. Battle message speed, we always want that to be fast. Alright, now the auto roster feature. Why don't we get some information on this? Ooh, oh, okay, there we go. Sorry, I was trying to see which controls are am I allowed to use with this. But okay, no D-pad for me. Anyway, without this feature, from a pool of six playable job characters, you can hire one per chapter to join your party. Another will be randomly selected from the pool to join your party later as a story-based character. If you decide not to hire, both characters will be randomly selected from the pool at certain points in the chapter. By selecting auto roster, a fixed role is assigned to each character on every playthrough. Hiring will be unavailable. Alright. Would I like to? Uh, I'm going to say yes. I think feel like that's the default, and so let's go with that. This will depend on who we get. Now, a lot of this is going to be very much the same as... The original Dragon Warrior 4, but there will be slight differences. So, for now, just deal with uh, well, the familiar. Anyway, Chapter 1, The Royal Soldiers, where we'll be playing as Ragnar. The story takes place in the region of Berlin, where the king has summoned his royal soldiers to the castle court. One of the soldiers is named Ragnar. One of the soldiers named Ragnar would soon realize his destiny. Look, emotes! The king will speak to you shortly. Please listen carefully. Listen well, men, for a dreaded day is upon us. Faramos's troops have descended upon our kingdom and are kidnapping the children of Isbit. It is a ransom effort. Baramos, this is the different part, guys. Baramos wants to know the location of the secret stronghold or dome. Do, do those words rouse any inspiration? Everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone at ease. Isbit is a town of builders, many of whom with children held hostage. Oh, builders! Dragon Quest builders? Is that the reference? Hmm. That's all the information I have right now. It disappoints me that I am not privy to the all confidential contracts signed there, and this is the spot it puts us in. Whatever Baramos wants inside this dome he's looking for, so the children are presumed unharmed. Also, I'm going to lower the music just a tad. Just a little bit. I don't know about you guys, I just felt like it was a little loud. Anyway. Children are presumed unharmed. All right. Find out where he's taking them and bring them back home safely. Any questions? Then be off. Good luck. Oh, hi, lady. Oh, soldier, please find our children. They're alive. I know it. All right. And now we're here. We are. Well, this is very similar. Let's go slow, Ragnar. Let's go slow. Oh, some things to notice. Ugh, I'm so used to using my D-pad, but it's making me use my, uh, my joystick. I hate it. Anyway, you may notice some, some, the uh, status bar here. It may seem a little weird, but just so you know, the left is current HP, and the right is max HP. And the bottom is the same with MP. It's not something I realized would be a thing, but there you go. Anyway, here's Ragnar. He's got 50 gold. Pretty good HP. Attack and defense. Magic, magic defense, weapon and armor, oh right. It's apparently 8 a.m., so they let you keep track of the time. That's interesting. Hear that or it's only for him. Can't select party. What are logs? Land map, enemies, catalog, message speed. Uh, we can do that. What's catalog mean? Found two of 294. Oh, information on stuff. All right. And what about enemies? We got none. And land, land map. 
Sorry, the controls are a little weird on my, uh, on my controller here, so I'm still figuring it out. Alright, items. We have the copper sword. Hmm, I don't get to examine it. You removed it. Oh, so used is basically the same as equip. Alright. And, alright. So that's what that says. But we got the angels return to a town invested in it. Alright, that's basic stuff. Oh, sorry for the weirdness here. I'm using a joystick and it does that sometimes. For long trips, take a stash of medical herbs. Alright. I'm counting on you, Ragnar. I might need to go with the keyboard if this keeps going on. What are you waiting for? Go now! Oh, shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the keyboard. For moving, at least. Alright, well, there's always items around, so why don't we go ahead and check around. Uh, I don't have a search. I want to make sure I'm actually pressing the right button for it. I imagine it's the same as talking. That better than this for those new bounds. That's the middle of the Virgic's family. Oh, shit! Now he's kidnapping innocent children. He must be stopped. So this is the timeline where Erdrich's been killed. Oh, shit. Also, these guys are out of order now. This is Berlin Castle. I won't lose anyone's suspicious pass. Good to know. I will say being slow is a little annoying, but that's not the end of the world, at least. Topa creatures come out at night. Be careful when wandering. All right. Hello. Would you like some battle tips? Yes. Don't expect your party members to sit back and gain strength and riches while you do all the work. Experience is earned by being involved. Attacking the enemies, getting beat up, casting spells, using items, and finishing battles. Yep, this is correct. This is all... There's a new experience system in this. You don't just sit around and gain experience. You have to participate. So just doing stuff helps. Even if you're just, like, defending and getting hit, it works. But you have to be in battle. Where it belongs to whoever lands the killing blue. It's the code of the warrior. All right. This is a bar where travelers seek companions and gather for meetings. Need some info on them. Yep. Who would you like to know about? We have a fighter, merchant, and jester. All right, well, what about fighters? Fighters have their all tech in the duty, but can be difficult to manage. They have MP, although they don't cast spells, and their actions seem random, unless you're keen to their discipline. Ah, uh, yeah, I read up on the, on the... There's a readme file that tells you about this. It has something to do with the last digit of their combined HP and MP. Yeah, uh, if their HP is even... If they, the combination is even... It's of current HP, by the way. Um, if it's even or odd, they get something different. I don't remember which is which, though. When you command your fighter to attack a god at the correct times, you will have an unstoppable ally. Alright. Sit down and have a drink. I'm good. But yeah, I definitely want to talk about... Doesn't look like we have any interesting books. Hey, Ragdoll, I'm researching something. And he's like, go fuck off, basically. Uh, dude, at my right, thank you. What are you doing? Some vacations come out at night. Be careful when wandering. All right, thank you, Shrek. Oh, Sergeant, please find our children. I know. We're going from Ismit Village. Congrats. Hey, Merchant. Promotion's jeeps are getting brawls in coming around here. Triple times, aren't they? All right. Well, we're going to go looking around, because that's what we do in Dragon Quest games. We look around. What I might do is do a quick pause and any time if I have to do a lot of backtracking, though. Know? Sky makes me uneasy these days. I don't know if this qualifies, though. You know what would be helpful is a dash button of some sort. Mm, I wonder. No, no, nothing like popping up on my controls. Uh, no, no, back up. Don't fall behind the other soldiers. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey, are you still here? Haven't the others already left for Ismid Village? They sure have. Hmm. Alright, uh, it doesn't even give me the no, uh, you don't have the right key message, so I'm guessing that we're okay. What if I just go up in here? Apparently Ragnar has different abilities too, according to the readme file too. This is the King of Bandit's Chamber. Our king is truly admirable. Okay. Wherever you go, find a house of healing, record your progress in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. Welcome back. I appreciate your fullness on the matter, but I cannot offer any more information. You must find the cause of the disappearances at once. I am counting on you. 
Alrighty. Luckily, I don't have any party talk to uh, hinder me. Let's go, I guess. I was kind of hoping for some free shit, though, through uh, finding stuff, but whatever. Hey, dude. A splendid castle, always. I wish to be an old royal soldier. Say, can you take me along? Yes. Really? I shall follow you, then. <sighs> You're going too fast. Fast for this old man. Go on, please. Alone, please. Yeah. That happened in the original. I was kind of hoping that maybe he would join us, but he'd be, like, terrible. All right, well, I can't I can't go that way, then, right now, and I don't feel like waiting for him. Merlin's castle. Merlin's king is good-natured and keeps taxes low. Unfortunately, can't spend much on your equipment. I can make gold and buy more weapons, more powerful weapons and armor, and then be sure to equip yourself with them after you buy them. Very good. Item shop. What do you got? Medical... Nah. We're okay right now. Yep, you zoom over still. Equipment shop, what do you got? I have 50 gold at the moment, and I already have a copper sword. Magic knife, cat claw, thorn whip, and training suit. Oh, oh, it's scrolls! Apprentice robe, leather armor, leather shield, leather hat. All interesting stuff, I suppose. Uh, I don't think um, he can equip any of these, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I need a merchant to tell me stuff. Alright, okay, I can open doors, at least. Monsters around towns aren't brave enough to taunt the people. How are the children vanishing? Want to buy something? If so, go outside and talk to me from across the counter. Alright. Come on, free equipment! Ow. Oh. Is it true that children are being taken by monsters? I'm not a kid anymore, so I guess I'm safe. You keep telling yourself that, kid. Hello. There's the villages on the coast beyond the cave west of this castle. Alright. I'm making sure I have everything I need. Also, remember the Berlin Soldier's Code. We are not barbarians who hack and slash all the time. Our special abilities are unlocked by taking a moment in battle to contemplate. Alright, that seems like a hint. Hey, dude. What's up? Did you know that some doors are unlocked? They open without a key. Well, thank you. We also got a well. Can't go down the well. I also didn't want to be blocked by that guy, so I hurried up there. Alright, did I talk to you? I think I did. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, ladies in bed. Apparently, she can't be shit. She can't be arsed to bother here. You should have got her down to bed. Hey, Ragdoll, I bet you already knew that. I sure did. Welcome to House of Healing. Let's go ahead and confess. Okay, and this is our file system. Yes, I would. Thank you. Alright. Again, we're just doing a little bit of an exploration, and I'll show off a little bit of combat, but uh, once I need to grind, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably start pausing, in, pausing the recordings and whatnot. You might find out something in Ismit Village. I'm sure I will. I'm Flora. My husband Alex hasn't returned from his last trip. I'm getting worried. Tell me if you see him. Okay. Can you get out of the way? Because normally there's free shit in your house, and I want to grab it. Probably not this time, though. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Unless there's some hidden items on the ground, which... I haven't been looking. But alright. Why don't we go ahead and check out outside is. Report sightings of suspicious people. Alright, why don't we try out some battle? Also, we get some random music here. Alright, so they said if you take a moment to think, you get something. So let me try parrying to start. He feels lucky. So every time he parries, he gets an increase of something. Also, we got a little bit of gold just for defeating it. Alright. That appears to be the thing. You guard, 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 and then you get a boost. Interesting. I suppose that's a way to self-buff, and it sounded good. Right. And now another... Now we got Dragon Quest, uh... What is this? Three? Yeah, this is Dragon Quest Three music now. He feels good. Oh! Did he just max his health out? Hold on. He feels quick-witted. 
Oh, he doubled up his attack. Oh, that boosted his health. That's interesting. But only for the battle. That's interesting, but I would need a heal. All right, now Dragon Warrior 1 music. Let me see how I attack. Three. All right, so it's about two hits. So it's worth defending and then attacking it to uh, try and get a double hit in or something. Now Dragon Warrior 4, classic music. All right, now there's there's two of these guys. Let's parry. I'm stronger. Nice. All right. I one-shot him. Not this time. Okay. I'm just looking over some ability, some things here and there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause here and uh, meet you back when I gain... Let's say... Well, let's say you try to do one level and a little bit of armor. Or maybe I'll show off... Or when it gets nighttime. Whatever comes first. So I'm going to pause here and I'll meet you there. Okay, guys, it's both nighttime and I also gained a level. And it looks like, yep, this shop is at night, so I'm glad I did that. And yeah, things change at night, so it's good to check things out. Welcome to the lottery. When you have a winning ticket, lottery tickets redeem it here. Oh, okay. Woman of his house is waiting for a missing husband to return. How sad. I'm attempting with the joystick again. But yeah, let's go ahead and check things out. He's just sleeping. We have an in here. Ugh, a stupid joystick. Yeah, I can't find a way to control it to let me use my D-pad. I'll make it so I have everything I need. Also, remember the. Okay, yeah, you're that dude. I get it. Animus has drive to eradicate Erdrick's blind end to his invasion of Moonbrook. They did so after Erdrick had died naturally. Too cowardly to face the Great War himself, I guess. Hmm. There's no descendants of Erdrick living around here to tempt Baroness. However, if he doesn't get what he wants, I fear he'll just take it out on us anyway. Hmm. Those are bad. Ah, uh, it's not a 24-hour shop. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping. How is our money, anyway? Uh, we have 86 gold, so I only gained 36 from doing some leveling up and all that. But good to know. Oh, can't talk across the table here. We're closed for now. Come back tomorrow. I want to go to the bathroom, but I'm too scared. And she's sleeping. She don't give a shit, man. Dude, get a chamber pot up there. He needs it. Also, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna start just pressing the action button to see if I find something hidden in the ground randomly. You never know. I assume I can't go in the castle at night either, right? Yeah. Oh! Go me. They don't care. They'll, they'll let me up here? Can you sleep? Stay at the end tonight and come back tomorrow. What if I say no? What are they gonna do? Oh, does, where is the king's bedroom anyway? I figured I'd just talk to the empty thing just in case. Alright, let's do a quick look around. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's anyone else has anything interesting to say, but if they don't, I... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and if anyone has anything interesting to say, I will show it off, but if not, well, I'll meet you back outside after I healed up and maybe gained some equipment, and I'll show that off. Alright, just a little bit of interesting dialogue. It's the same stuff, but I figured I'd show it off. How long will she wait? She should give up hope and marry me. Yeah, he's an asshole. Ox return, won't he? Alright, I just figured I'd show that a little bit off. Alright. I'll, uh, I'm probably gonna do some grinding again, and then I'll meet you back when I'm done and start, start traveling a little bit more. Okay, guys, I leveled up one more time, and I think we're good to go. I got, saved up enough money to get us a... No, get us a couple medicinal herbs, and one antidote herb for just in cases, but also a lottery ticket. Lottery tickets are something new in this game. Um, as you saw the lady that said she could turn in some winning lottery tickets and such, so... Anyway, just use it, and... Scratch, 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 we get a heart, moon, and moon. What does that do? Not a winner. 
Does it at least go away afterwards? Let's find out. Has a lot of tickets? This is not a winner. Okay. So I think... Can I sell that? That's a question. Actually, I don't know. Can I sell a, a dud? Will it give me like one gold or will it just say can't buy it and I have to discard it? Let's find out. Because I'm curious now. Lottery ticket, you'll give one gold. Okay. Hey, every one little gold can help. But alright, I'm ready to travel. I'm not at full health right now though, so let me just do a quick in. I should have done that beforehand, but I was just impressed that I got a lottery ticket before. Alright, and why don't we go ahead and travel to Izmit. I have, uh... I'm not exactly super strong right now, but I can at least, uh... I can at least... Actually, wait a second. At least gain, uh, what do you call it? Survive very well as Ragnar. Ragnar can at least take, uh, damage pretty well. And he has the HP to do it, do so. So there's that, at least. Anyway, we got uh, some slime battles here. I'm going to show it off in battle because uh, it's the travel there. All right. But it also helps show off some things, too. What? Oh. Apparently, you can only enter places by certain in certain low ways for, for some reason. All right. That... Hmm, this is a tough fight already. A healer and a babble. Poison can be very dangerous, but the healers can just keep going. Let's parry. I'm stronger. Oh, the healer ran away, thank god. And I'm stronger. That's doing six damage. Very good. I'm fine with healers running away. Oh, hello! Who are you? Are you talking about Baramos? You need not worry about it. This is official royal business. Uh, this is official royal business. Indeed it is. But it's not just your kingdom sending out your specialists to investigate. We have a shared mission. I suggest we work together. I'm Centaur, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Well, we get more party members with Centaura. We have a mage now. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I looked at the README file, and it says, uh, let me see, for wizards, for mages, uh, they have a different type of way to do things. Let's see, variety of spells, spells cost increase by level and usage, so we might want to spread spells out so that they can get, uh, more, get one, one to increase their level, but also not to raise the cost of them up too high either. What does she have, anyway? Why don't we take a look-see? Just cypress stick and basic clothes, okay. Alright, and let's see, she's got 26 health. Not very much defense, but we only have, like, five more than her. Uh, magic defense is three and two, two. Armor is only two as well, because she's kind of low. Phase three? Oh, she shares that with Ragnar. I apparently can't see what spell she has. She has heal? What the? What? Order Divi. I don't know what Divi means. I can change the order, yes, and heal us. But okay, she has healing. I was not expecting a mage to have heal, but okay. All right, I'm going to attack. And she just has heal. Well, very well then. I'm gonna have her actually try and fight. One. She needs to participate in battle to get some experience, at least. Oh, stop evading me, stupid slimes. But she can heal, at least, so I'm okay with this. But yeah, uh, whoever gets the finishing blow will gain the gold. So it's something to keep in mind. Uh, there's no party chat, though. As far as I'm aware. Stag Beetle, alright. Just attack. Nice. The yeah, Ragnar should be getting the finishers anyway. Yeah, there's no... There's no, uh... What do you call it? 
no no talk command, so there's no party talk. But yeah, she just needs to participate in battle more. We got a medicinal herb. Uh, she won't need it because she has the heal spell. Well, she's not getting hit hard or anything. Ragnar, finish them. You don't have any uh, attack magic, so why don't you just attack as well? Oh, that ain't good. All right, Ragnar, at this point, you need to parry while she's just going to attack just to gain some stuff. All right, he's got luck. That'll increase his crit rate. This could get that pretty hairy, but I'm glad that she joined recently. Her taking damage helps, too. No crit that time. It's It keeps going. He lost concentration of his skill. Okay, let's parry. I'm going to actually have her heal her... Oh, oh, you can heal the enemy, too, if you really wanted to, but heal herself. Enchanted? Oh, that increases his magic, apparently. I, I'm assuming that's defense. All right, she healed up a little bit. I'm going to have him parry one more time. She's just going to attack. He's stronger. Good, good, good. He could Maybe he could start one-shotting soon. Let's go. This is going to be pretty painful, I could tell you that much. I will say this, if we run into something like this again, I might just uh, nix this, uh, take it out the fight itself. She's going to go ahead and heal Ragnar, though. This is a little tough, though. Oh, I can speed it up by just pressing the buttons. I didn't know that. Very good. Sorry, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, she might need to parry. I know she's not participating, but this is a little too many, and we really need to get rid of this. This is getting way out of hand here. Oh, boy. Okay, he knocked one out. He lost, he lost his concentration on that. Yeah, it's a shame that she doesn't have any attacking stuff. He's stronger. Okay, good. I had her attack just a little, just to get them moving. Okay, uh, you're going to parry again. Ah, uh, that's not enough. I might need to run. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, it would take way too long to get through this, I feel like. You know what I'm... Uh, I don't want to... Oh, we are getting experience every time we attack. We're just not getting the big experience every time. So technically, we could use this to our advantage, but you know... Hmm. I'm going to try a little longer, but if this goes on too long, I may just get just get the hell out of here. If he can level up, that'd be great. Uh, you know what? Just a help attack, too. I can hold down the button for the same effect. Good. Oh, don't miss, man! Yeah, she's got a parry. All right, I think I'm going to pause it here, and um, I'll show you towards the end of the fight. If someone dies, I'll unpause, because this is going to take too long, and I don't want the video to be too long either. So, I'll see you there. Okay, I had to run away, because it was getting too much. Even though Ragnar did level up from just keep attacking, I think what I need to do is get uh, Centura leveled up a bit. So, what I'm going to do is grind, and I'll try this again. <laughs> Because this was getting a little ridiculous, and I think I need some area of effect spells from her. Or at least something that can one-shot an enemy, because right now this is getting ridiculous. So, just letting you guys know that I, all I did was run away after killing a few. And, uh, anyway, I will meet you back when we're... When she's gained something to help, or that we can at least start one-shotting an enemy or two. So, I'll see you in that. Okay, that took a lot of grinding, just so you guys know. But uh, we're back, and now we can actually handle the div rat, diver rats a little bit better. Just to show you some new things here, we also have a couple new spells from Centaur. Centaur? I want to call her Centaur, jeez. But I'm going to call her Cent for now. Uh, she has Projectile, which what it does is it makes your short-range weapons into projectiles. That way, enemies that are up in the air, like those dive rats, won't have such a high evasion rate. Apparently that's a mechanic of this game, so you have, it's a good thing to keep in mind. 
She also learned Upper, which in the old days was just um, the buff spell from Dragon Quest, or single targeting uh, defense up. Oh, sorry, I accidentally tried to use it. Anyway, I just met us back to where we last left off, so let's keep moving up. Also, Scent is a complete healer, a cleric, a priest, whatever you want to call it. She's just in witch robes. But I also gave her some new items. We gave her the magic knife, and we also got a couple bits of armor, too. Which I didn't show off yet. Let's see. Uh, I got the leather shield for Ragnar, and a um, uh, leather hat for Scent. Because, um, mainly because of, uh, what do you call it? I wasn't sure what she could equip. I was going to try to give her the copper sword, but she can't equip that. She can only equip the magic knife. I think she has something similar to what Nara has in Dragon Quest IV in terms of equipment pool, but she could she could equip the copper sword, so... Maybe, maybe not. In any case, though, yeah, I haven't really upgraded anything yet for her. Anything major, because we don't have that much money. We are getting a lot of medicinal herbs from the wild encounters we're doing, so... But more than likely, I'm going to have to grind a lot in this game, and I'll be making sure to do it off-camera each time. Anyway, talk to me. Mama wages mid village too. Well, good for you. Oh, a big slug! We haven't encountered one of these yet. Uh, get in a parry to get yourself stronger. Alright, not much damage. Honestly, the dodge rate in this game is a little ridiculous. I really do think it needs to go down a bit. Because people miss way too often, and the battle goes a little too slow, in my opinion. And it might come to a point where I'll, every time I get into a battle, I'll pause it if it starts getting too long. I've seen someone try playing through this on a stream, and it, it took battles took a while. And they had a full party. I mean, you guys saw the dive rats. That was going to take forever if I tried sticking around, and I just couldn't. What do we get? Eh, 20 gold. Okay. Uh, another metal... Another... I just call it metal slug. Jeez. Parry. Oh, she... You could one-shot it. Good to know. Alright, let's get to... What the... Okay. So you can also only exit from one way. I'm not a fan of that either. I don't know if that's a limitation or not, but whatever. Do not play in the woods. Well, we're finally in Ismit. That took forever. Welcome to Ismit Village. Item shop, what do you got? Not much. Alright. We have an inn, that's pretty good. We're okay right now. Oh, a traveling biscuit. The prophecy is true. A new warrior with legendary qualities is among us. This is who Baramo seeks. Alright, sounds good. Are there any... Oh, good! I was about to say, is there any, ever anything in these things? But yes! Medicinal herbs. Why don't I go ahead and give you a few... We're getting a lot of these, so I might end up having to, wanting to... to use them in, over her spells outside of battle. I don't know if she gets experience outside of battle. Oh, this is a little bit different from the usual. Oh, there's a kitty with a butthole. Wow, great. Well, that happened. My wife says Pocos was acting completely normal before he disappeared. Although she did mention something peculiar. Because that seems wearing some odd new shoes. Well, good to know. Kitty, get out of my fucking way. That's one thing I don't miss from the old games is, uh... People just getting in your way and unable to do much about it. The tile west of here looks suspicious. I wonder how we can get in. I think our king would supply villains best with the boat or something. Yeah, you'd think that. Alright, well, that's a thing. What do we have up here? Well, we can talk to the lady, but let's first try to rob her. Eh, nothing. The man in jail stole some bread. He seems he lost his memory. He acts like a child. He must have been through some ordeal. Oh, yeah, I should get that taken care of, huh? Alright, we have a priest there I could save, and I think I might just do that. Let's just go ahead and save, just to make sure none of my progress is ruined. If I hit F12 by accident, it automatically resets the game. But I might be doing some save and reset things for when I buy equipment. I'm not going to buy equipment on screen. 
for that reason, because, yeah. I wonder if boomerangs do hit-alls, and I wonder if we can equip it. But this is all the stuff they have for sale. I might do some shenanigans to see what we can equip, because unfortunately in this game, they don't tell you unless you have a merchant in your party. And I don't really care for that. But I also understand it. It makes sense, but I... Mm, I don't know. Ooh! There's a book on fighter techniques. Should I read more? Okay. What should I read about? Meter, action, MP, skills. Well, meter. Fighting isn't just isn't just constantly hitting your opponent. It's a complex chain of actions. Add your HP and MP together. The last digit, 0 through 9, is your meter. When you combine them together, 0 through 9 is your meter. This tells you the move that your body naturally wants to perform next. Okay. So, 0 to 9, they have different skills. I'll, I'll probably write this down after we go through this once. Action! Fighters work best attacking on an odd meter and guarding on an even one. You can take any action you want, but one that opposes your meter won't work at full strength. On 0 and 5, however, you can perform any action without any penalty. Without penalty. This is the best time to cast spells if you have any. Okay. Stuff I'm probably going to want to put notes in, yeah. MP. Fighters need MP to concentrate. Each action you perform depletes MP. Your MPs means you can't concentrate and your attacks will miss often. Ooh, that sounds tough. Skills. Unlike mages who have to learn their skills. Yeah. Fighters come equipped right from the start. Alright. Oh, wait. Meter skills. One is Whirlwind Kick that hits all enemies. Okay. Two is Cover Guard that protects all your allies and increases your MP. Three is Triple Hit on one opponent, the most powerful attack in a fighter's arsenal. Mm. Four is Meditation that replenishes MP. Six is Power Building Guard that doubles your attack. Muster Strength, basically. Seven is Fist of Fury's attack that lands a bunch of random strikes. Eight is Counterattack Guard. If the enemy strikes you, you immediately strike back. Nine is Stun Punch. A very, it's very effective. And zero and five are open to any action. Uh, all right. Well, that's all good stuff to know, and I'll write that down later when that becomes relevant, at least. My child is dearest to me. However, the project is Im is important to the world. Project? How can we put our children at risk like this? We need answers. Hmm. But okay. Why don't we go ahead and visit the guy, Alex? If you play Dragon Warrior 4, you should know what he does, who he is, and all that. Get me out, sir. I was hungry, and I stole some bread. That's all I did. Oh, I have to do this at night. I have to talk to him at night in order to get him to talk. After I'm done talking to everybody around here, I will go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, I already did that. Hello, lady. Soldier. If you can't find my children, I'll grab a pitchfork and hunt down barely most myself. Yes. Your sarcasm isn't appreciated. Uh, no. You're right. I'll go after the men of this town who won't divulge their dark secrets instead. Okay. That's weird. No secret project should cost the breakup of our family. You sure said that. Are these guys all part of a secret project? My son is gone. Am I making the right choice? Hmm. Well, we only know a secret project, but whatever. This is a school made by Ishmael's renowned builders. Oh, those are the builders. That's what they are. Hi, lady. Wait, stop! No way! And now he, now he's chasing her. That's kind of funny. All right. Anyway. Oh, I can't talk to him from across the desk. Welcome, soldier. I'm teaching now. Perhaps we can talk at night. Then you have them studying. The amazing child, focus at the end, he flew away into the sky. You're a soldier. That's great. I'll be a soldier someday. Alright. Well, we talked to everybody. I don't see much else to be done here. Unless there's something secret on the end. Doesn't look like it. I'll meet back at night, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're back here at night. So let's see what differences we can find first off. Of course, you get back. Please leave. 
it's always good to check everyone's different dialogue. Cat's gonna say the same. So you every time I buy Oh, she's saying the exact same thing. And that's the same too. Oh god damn it. Kitty stay. Damn it, kitty! Move. I mean I guess I reset her reset the cat every time I move off and all. Alright. There's this guy who's also part of the secret project. Do you have anything different to say? My wife isn't speaking to me. Does your secret project thing whatever. Who's doing this? What do they want? Well, I guess he's sleeping in the doorway for now. Oh, kid, what are you doing? The man in the underground jail is named Alex. He's my pal. And I'm just running around like an asshole at, after school. <laughs> Whatever was built all those years ago appears to be more important to the men than their children. Whatever was built all those years ago. Hmm. Well, we're just talking about the incident. Monsters aren't exactly pouring into town and dragging children off screaming. I think they're playing off the children's curiosities, learning them somehow. Yeah, they're using the Talaria or the shoe flying shoes or whatever. Anyway, we gotta talk to Alex. How are these abductions done with such stealth? What is this secret project everyone's talking about? We'll have to find out sometime. Uh, you guys saying the same thing? My child is dearest to me. However, the project's important, most important thing in the world. Uh, yeah, that's all the same. You anything new to say? Is Daddy a bad person? Yes, yes he is, Junior. Yes he is. Alright, let's get Alex talking with Alex now. Yes, I'm Alex. The monsters are coming. I'm scared. Very good. We got what we need. We gotta talk to, uh, Flora, I think her name was? And let her know. But what about you, lady? Uh, you're saying the same thing. Oh, hi, Alex. Yeah, they all befriended him. I have one person, last person to talk to, and then we can just get the hell out of here. What? I'm not stupid. Keep quiet, I'll tell you something. I saw the man in the underground jail before, in the castle of town of Berlin. Where he lives there. Now let me snoop and do dirty, gross things. Alright, so we gotta go back to Berlin. I'm just gonna walk over there. So, I'll meet you there, since you don't need to watch me walking. So, see you there. Okay, we're back, and we're right where the lady waiting for her husband is. What? Alex is in Izmir Village? Caught stealing? Take me there, please! Sadly, she doesn't actually join our party. I was hoping that's what was going to be what happened, where she'd be like a guest character, but nah. A little unfortunate, really. Anyway, I will meet you there since I have to walk back once again. So, see you in Ismit. Okay, we're here at Ismit. I did a little bit of shopping around as well, so I want to show that off before we continue. I picked up the boomerang, and I tested it out before uh, resetting a couple times just to make sure I got what I wanted out of this. And it, um, it lets you attack twice, and Ragnar can equip it. It doesn't do what it does in older games where it hits all enemies, but... It's still double attack. It's still pretty nice. So I'm, I'm not I'm not really too upset with that. Uh, but I also got a Mo Ragnar wooden hat as well to give him a little bit more defense. I was going to see if uh, if Scent could uh, equip the leather shield. Maybe I could pass that down since uh, Ragnar's getting even more defense. She can't. She can't equip it. Her, I think her equipment choices are very basic. A little more basic than uh, other games, so... I'll have to figure it out as we go. But anyway, yeah, that's the, definitely the way to do this. If you're not sure, just do some safe scumming until you can figure out the equipment you need. All right, with all that said, let's go ahead and reunite Flora and Alex. Oh, Alex. Who are you, ma'am? Don't you recognize me? I'm Flora, your wife. Huh? Perhaps these will jog your memory. Whoa! Did he just... Did she just flash him? Flora! Yes, it is me! What came over me? I must have lost my mind in fear after being attacked by monsters! Kind soldier, thank you for fighting me. 
I remember hearing this from some children. There's a place called the Secret Playground. It is four steps to the south and four steps to the east of the village signpost. I'm not a criminal. I want the children to be safe too. You should check out check that location as I fear something foul is there. I'll make sure you're released, Alex. Be careful, kind soldier. Alright, we have our new place. The secret playground is four steps to the south and four steps to the east. Be careful, kind soldier. Okay. We got our lead. How's our health right now? Um, yeah, I'm going to take a quick in, and then I'll meet you guys in the in the uh, secret playground. So, be right back. Okay. Let's go to the secret playground. Oh, after we get into a fight. But I can demo the boomerang now, at least. So, let's see. We want to go for the demon stump, because he can heal. Scent can help out, too. She does okay damage now, but let's watch. Nine. Fourteen. Noise. That's going to be pretty good if it's stacked with his uh, defense stuff like that, or when he misses more. I feel like that's going to be the thing. Getting more opportunities to attack will equal better chances for us. Anyway, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Whatever. It's around here somewhere. I'll find it in a moment, but first things first, let's get rid of some stag beetles first. It's okay if the diver rats attack. Yeah. Keep attacking, and I'm going to go ahead and projectile Ragnar so that he can hit these guys a little easier. Ooh, you guys are going to see us in a big fight. I don't think that, uh... You know what, actually, I think I'm going to pause it here uh, so that you don't have to watch me do go through all this, but if this keeps happening, that might work. Yeah, you know what? I'll give it one more round. If it works, cool, but if not... Good. Mm. Yeah, this is going to take a bit. You know what? I'm going to pause until I get it down to just one enemy, so be right back. Okay, we got through that. That took a bit. We got a, some good money out of it. But anyway, we could just kind of go back and forth until we land into the... Thing. God damn it. Uh, just get rid of the diver rat right now. But that boomerang is definitely helpful. The boomerang was lost! Oh, what the fuck? Well, guess what we learned today? Uh, right, never mind. The boomerang sucks now. I hate it. Ugh. Let me go and get in a proper weapon. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, I'm back. What I had to do is buy a thorn whip for for scent. And who, which, by the way, thorn, the whips just do regular damage. There's nothing special about them. And then I had to go here, and then I had to press the action button. That's what I did did wrong. I'm used to just automatically go in. But anyway, there's a path here. We're at a well. I love the cla some of the classic music they have here. Medicinal herb. Nothing else. Anything on the ground? Hmm, nothing in here. What do we, else do we have? A teleportal? Oh shit! He just sunk into that. There's a place out here. And a dude! I think we went to Dragon Quest 2. Of keys and doors, I knew this. There are silver keys and gold keys, and doors to match them each. I'd say seek for the silver key, but it is out of reach. Okay, yes, yes, thank you. Nope, that certainly is a fire. I'm a little nervous to go outside. This does feel like Dragon Quest 2. However, I think I should stick to what we know first before we go exploring. But good to know. I wish I could rush that teleportal thing. But it is kind of neat, though, that uh, we have another world we can go to after this. Also, uh, I was spoiled about what we could find in this well. We drop in. That was a little cute animation. 
from this way. If you go that way, you'll go back. Alright. I'm gonna keep pressing the action button. Come this way. Not that way. If we go this way, we're gonna get into a battle. I just wanna see if there's any special treasures there or not. In the NES version, if you followed what the guy said, you will not get into any battles. But if you do, you will. A Drakey and Drag Demon Stump. Okay. Um. I'm going to parry to get the boost here, and I want to... Oh! Drakis are going to have a, uh... Going to have, uh... They have wings, so they have a higher dodge. So I'm just going to go ahead and give projectile to Ragnar. So he can hit. Nice! But yeah, he has the magic knife right now. Anything good? Nah. It was worth a shot to take a look. You never know what might have changed in, in these type of games. Down is going to be the correct way, but we're going to go the wrong way, just to see. I think it's just a chest to it for a medicinal herb, that's how it was in the original. Alright, why don't we take out the lethal gopher. Very good. Uh, that miss. Alright, keep your G's going. If they keep building, if I get into one more fight before I even get to the end of the room, I'm gonna start a. I'm gonna start a what do you call it? Pausing to get through these fights each, because this is gonna get a little nutty. Jeez, you're still going. Oh my gosh, uh, it's just one Draki. Yeah, they're dodging because of the. This stupid thing. I'm, I'd rather not use the projectile, though. At least they're weak enough. Alright, there is a chest. Once I get the chest, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to walk back over to where the split is and meet you back there so you don't have to see me backtrack because this is very annoying. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay, we're back. Let's follow the path. Alright. Up is the correct way. If we go this way, we'll go where Healy is or was. I don't know what to... Well, I actually know what to expect, actually. But, let's see. Uh, just go ahead and take him out. There's no need to be missing that much Ragnar. My god. Seriously, the missing is really what pisses me off the most out of this. When it comes to these type of games, we're supposed to have some steady... Steady damage? I don't know. Uh, get rid of the demon stump first. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Yeah, I have to get used to the battle system still, probably, though. Yeah, I'm waiting to get attacked because I don't want to spend... Oh, fine, fuck it. There. That stupid boomerang, though, pisses me off so much, because it did so much good damage, but it, it helped with the... Oh, we got a lottery ticket. It helped so much, though, with the the missing that I hate that it's gone now. Lottery ticket. Heart, stars, and horseshoes? No. Uh, not a winner. It's only one gold. At this point, one gold is not doesn't matter enough. Okay. How's our health? Okay, we got, we'll survive. Alright, Scissor Mages. These guys are assholes. In the original games, they only had enough enough MP for just one blaze. But in this uh, mod... Or, rotten. I shouldn't say mod. This fan game... Oh! She gained levels for hit getting hit. Nice. I know that's part of the normal thing. But anyway, uh, I'm going to parry one more time to try to get a better... There you go. A better buff. But yeah, in this one, they have multiple multiple castings, and I don't really agree with that. The point was, you're supposed to parry them so that it doesn't hurt so much. Anyway, here's Healy, right? Huh? They talk to me like I'm a lonely monster wanting to join your party? Wah! A wild, evil healer appears. 
it would make sense to have more than one healer in our party anyway. Scent has got that covered. Let's parry, and you attack. I'm feeling lucky, so we have a higher crit. If you can get that crit in there, that'd be great. Nice! Also, healers run away because... There he goes. No secret thing on below, though. But anyway, uh... Healers run away because if you kept... If they just kept healing themselves as you attack them, then, um, you'll get so much more exp You basically could grind off of them by having letting them heal themselves over and over. So it makes sense why they why they have it set up this way. Ow. Really? Stop missing! It isn't that hard, is it, right? Come on now. Ugh. Anyway, you know what? I just remembered. How about I meet you back at, uh, back at the split again, because backtracking seems to be a pain in the ass. I'll see you there. Alright, we we went up now from back at the break-off path. And if we go right or left, it's not that way. So why don't we follow it to the correct way first? Because there will be no encounters up until we get the item. Now this should give us the Talaria, right? The flying shoes! And that'll get us to the tower and get our chapter all set up with. But first... What if we went this way? Well, first we're going to probably get an encounter, right? These assholes. Also, it's nighttime. Alright, parry to get some more power. You attack one. And let's go for it. Oh, come on, man. Just go. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the crit. That gets obnoxious. After I get through this, I'll meet you back at the split off again. Oh, that sucks. Parry and get rid of the scissor mage. Enchanted? Oh, come on. That's useless. He has nothing magical about him. Oh, at least they he magically passed against the uh, parry there. I think it raises his magic defense, maybe? It kind of works, I guess. Okay. Get rid of that scissor mage. Thank you. And then the iron ants will just go down quickly. Very good. Ugh. Come on. Get out of my way. We, he was caught off guard and we missed this much. I really, really do not like the miss rate. It is very, very obnoxious. I'm sorry. I understand the idea of uh, balancing out physical attacks and magic attacks a little bit, but ooh. All right, you got a parry, and I'm going to have you... Okay, you're stronger. Good. Ragnar only took four. Good. That's kind of why I wanted him to parry for this. All right, you're going to parry one more time, and you're going to Medicinal Herb him. Oh, he got, a, got some extra health out of that. Attack down the Scissor Mage. Please have enough attack. Ah, you lost concentration on your vitality and your strength. Come on, man. This thing is a pain in the ass. That's fine. Good. Jeez. Again, it's the missing that bothers me. 300 gold, though. That's going to be useful. All right, I'll meet you back over at the split path again. Okay, we're back at the split path again, and I'm going to test out this... Normally, this is just uh, something that will lead you back and forth between these two. These two uh, sets of stairs. Alright, go ahead and parry, and you just attack. But we'll, uh, we'll find out, and once we do... Oh yeah, he has these agility thing up. But uh, once we find out, we'll go ahead and... And I'll, we'll backtrack all the way... I'll, uh, what do you call it? I'll pause this recording and uh, meet you back over to the beginning. Yep, yeah, this is going to lead exactly back. Uh, parry and attack. You're quick-witted, good. There we go, we killed it. Alright, uh, yeah, this is just going to lead back to where we came from, just on the other side. 
So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go back to town, heal up, and then we're going to check out the teleportal and see where that leads us. Because I want to see what, what that is about. Um, but I want to save first, and I don't want to be worried about like, oh shit, something bad really happened, so, you know. So that's what we're going to do. I'll meet you back. Okay, we went through the teleportal. Let's see what we where we are. And see how bad the enemies are. A ghost mouse. How about you do, do that, and you try attacking. Five. All right. And, okay. Looks like the, the enemies aren't too hard. Sounding like Dragon Quest II music right now, so that's interesting. Ghost mouse slime and wild rats. All right. Um... Let's aim at the wild rat because they're an unknown to us. All right. Not much. I also got Ragnar a better weapon. Now, if you actually can hit with it, that'd be wonderful. I got him the iron spear. Why don't you take out the slime scent? You know, that way, while Ragnar is missing, at least we're killing off some things here. Because I knew that she could one-shot slimes. But yeah, it definitely sounds like Dragon Quest Two stuff here. Uh, not much there. Uh, we got some slugs. We've fought these before. Yeah, Senta is getting better... Has seemed to have generally better aim. Not always. Never mind. I'm really just annoyed with the missing. The missing is probably the most obnoxious thing. Oh, this is definitely Dragon Quest Two. Not far from when we usually pick up... Uh, Moonbrook, I think? But we have a choice. I'm gonna go with left on the coast. And see how that goes. We got a castle! Oh, Maidenhall! Uh, what do we got? Medicinal herbs and antidotes. Thank you. We have a doggy. Alright, that's nice. This is Mightenhall Castle. If your path leads west of this castle, you will reach the town of Leftwind. Alright. Let's go forth and seek your destiny. Well, thank you, lady. I don't know you, but thanks. What do we have here? Anything good? No. Also, is this not considered nighttime, or is this just before? Oh, this used to have a teleportal, but they got rid of it. For a water feature. In Kadak, there is a young prince. The castle is to the northwest. That sounds like a where we can get our next uh, party member, maybe. Travel dwarves are such mysterious things. Imagine traveling to another world in just one step. I sometimes daydream that this fountain were one. Ah, that's funny. How about you? The hero of prophecy is still an experience, which is why he's in training hard somewhere out there. Ah, Mightenhall Prince, whatever. The dragon's bane is a magic charm said to keep one safe from magic spells. Do you move? You do. Don't seem to. Hmm. Once I'm done exploring around here, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to get through there because I need a thief key. But yeah, I think once I get through exploring here, I'll end recording. Because it's been a bit. From the ruins of Moonbrook, Baramos' troops have already begun to advance north to Kadok, where the remaining descendants of Erdrick live. Two of his spies were caught in the village of Hamlin and remain there as prisoners. We will certainly assist Kadok in the, the inevitable battle. I like the story so far here, though. The king may see you now. You are strong as an ox and twice as good looking. That is very good. Uh, thanks? I'm fucking... Now we're the fucking princes. What do you have to say, sir? Welcome to my Midnor Castle, Nighting Hall, whatever. Baramos, the fame responsible for the massacre of Erdrick's family and destruction of Moonbrook, is now troubling your kingdom? Consider ourselves allies, then. You remind me of someone very special. My advice, seek Panin of Kanet. He's a great jester. Queen Alani and Panin are the last remaining descendants of Erdrick. Panin is a descendant of Erdrick? Oh my god. 
He's a goof. He's a goof off. At least he was an entertainer in the original Dragon Quest IV. Form an alliance, and I am sure you could both learn valuable lessons from each other. Well, looks like we got our next mission is go to Kanak and pick up uh pick up the Prince of Panin or Panin whatever. We'll get a new party member. But for now, that'll be it for this episode. A nice hour-long chunk. Um, I'll see you in the next one then. Bye-bye.